Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm so happy to see you. Today we're gonna to do a little reverse art, which is going to be interesting and fun. The tools will be simple. You're going to learn to be focused and patient. Three-part process, and it's actually pastel reverse prints. Now we've done rubbings. It's almost the complete opposite of that, which is interesting for sure. We're going to use this lesson to get colorful. There's an artist called Carla Gerhardt that does these really whimsical drawings, and I want to use her style. Not She does thin, not fish for sure, but she does a style that I really, really like. And in your artistic journey, I want you to find those things that really relate to you and grab onto them. Try to use them in your artwork. There's nothing wrong with honoring someone else's effort. So with these colored imprints, it's almost like an imprint, you're going to discover a new way to use pastels that you never thought you could. See you at the lesson. Promised you a three-part process for our reverse pastel prints. This is very similar to the rubbings that we had done, only it's actually completely opposite. I'm using fish again. Well, I like fish, but when you do a subject over and over again, you become familiar with it and your mind stores it. These are total whimsical, like out of the box fish, which makes this lesson even more fun. These are just two. And this is going to be where I get my ideas from. This is a complete picture and these are all whimsical colors are bizarre i love it my kind of art like out of the box like miss linda always says so to begin with we need to draw our fish i'm going to sketch fish for you very quickly you need the bottom of the water like in the rubbing when you finished your rubbing and made it a complete painting then let's put some seaweed if you notice i'm not worried about drying because this is process one this is step one in the final process let's do one of these whimsical fish you do not have to oh he's got a square face i kind of like that you do not have to worry so much about details in this and you will find out later why let's give him a rhinoceros. This will be my rhinoceros. My rhinoceros fish. Ah, oh, the creative process is just a blast. Circles, circles. Let's give him a smaller face. He looks very innocent. He looks like he wouldn't harm another fish. You're going to be drawing this and you're going to finish it. Put more than one seaweed in, maybe coral. And again, don't worry too much. I actually think this is too thick, so I'm going to erase it. Coral is not so thick like that. There we go. One fish, two fish, three fish. I like fish. And I'm just going to show you. You can look at mine and get an idea. I'm going to have this guy going the other way. He looks very, kind of looks lost. So we're going to help him find his way. I'm going to give him a short little tail. We're going to give him some gills, put a couple of circles back here. His face goes here. He's got a great, I love his eye. I think I'm gonna keep the eye. And then let's go around here and give him one fin. Uh, let's do stripes this way. These are whimsical, these are not real. These are supposed to be almost something that you would find in a children's book or on a poster that you'd want to put on your bedroom wall. Now you're going to finish this and complete it. This could be completed, especially for the first time you're doing this, because it is a little time consuming, but the results are worth it. This is my drawing for you. This is the drawing that I did prior. Mine has much more and then I added things in and you'll see why. Next step, get your broken pastels out. And if they're not broken, please don't break them on purpose. There's no need to break them on purpose. They will eventually break all on their own. 
So if you do have a brand new one, now I'm looking at my drawing, my drawing, I'm going to do it for this. I'm looking at my drawing so that I know where to kind of put the colors because we are going to fill this with colors. If I remember correctly, I had some seaweed here. This can be done very loosely and also very thickly. Remember, use them on their sides. Put color everywhere. The bottom of the ocean should be something like this. So basically you're doing a loose sketch with your pastels. This is not thick enough. This is not thick enough and you'll see why. Usually Miss Linda says, you know, a little goes a long way. Today, don't listen to me. I'm gonna put some bright orange in there. Oh yeah. All right, one, two, three. And again, I am speed drawing so that I just don't draw in color in front of you. Now there was a fish right here, so let's put some orange. Thick, thick, thick. Some lime green. Doesn't matter if it matches the fish. We want the colors to be all over the place. Throw some lime green in this one. Even though I drew coral, it's gonna turn into seaweed anyway. The ocean has blue everywhere. That is the last thing we're gonna do. Let's have some pink, some purple. Isn't it nice to be able to draw with these things and not worry, just be like, yeah, I'm a three-year-old again and I'm just gonna put my color where I want it. Dark green. Yes, guess what Miss Linda's favorite color is. Um, let's do a yellow, complimentary colors. Go big, go over them. Rainbow it out without actually making a rainbow. Now that looks no nothing like a fish, but guaranteed it will. Mm -mm -mm. So many colors, what to choose. I think I am gonna put blue in this fish, even though the ocean's going to be blue as well. Purple green, lime green. All right, here we go. Da, 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 da. Do I have enough? This is enough to show you what you're going to be doing. You're going to be taking your little drawing, and if you look, it's kind of close. It's not finished. I'm going to show you my finished one afterwards. I just want you to be able to pause it, do one part, go back, pause it again if you need to. Now, I'm taping this so that I have the ability to lift it up and look at it as I'm going. Now, again, this is not what your final one will look like, you're going to use a ballpoint pen. Where is the one? When I was doing mine, this one, I actually wore it out. It just like kept shrinking on me. You can see all the colors on it. So let's, let's give it honor. Now is when you can do details. Oh, did it quit on me? No. Another reason to use something like this. Now, when you fill it in, it's going to pick up color. When you outline it, it will pick up color, but not in the same manner. I will show you in a moment. Go back and forth. And again, does not have to be perfect. Can be loose and a little, I do a lot of scrumbling, which is up in a circle. So I want the eye to have, let's see this poor guy is worn out. Let's see. Sorry, but I'm gonna to have to get another one. This is why you keep one or two by your side. I don't have to get up and get another one because I got prepared for the art project, which is what we all should do when we're doing our art. Let's do this. I'm gonna show you what I meant that we can open it. I'm gonna turn it this way, otherwise it'll be upside down. See how it's picking up the colors? When you scrumble it, you get a lot of the pastel being picked up onto the paper. When you outline it, you will get the pastel but not the depth, not the, the deepness that you want. And if you get some smudges on here, it doesn't matter. Let me show you again. Circles, just making loopy loop loops. And again, called scrumbling. Since it's pastels, it's truly scrumbling. And if I stay on the lines of my original drawings, I don't have to because I'm trying to pick up that pastel. I want them to be thicker. And this is a whimsical piece of artwork. So the colors will be different. The shapes will be different. And even the way it picks up. Let me show you the difference between coloring in a circle and not coloring in a circle. I'll show you the difference. Oh, let's finish it up, Miss Linda. Ballpoint pens move quickly too. 
See the difference? You pick up the color and right here, you don't. You have a, just an open circle. It's up to you. I want to try this purple really quick before I go onto the one that I have done. If my cans get in your way, just tell me, Miss Linda, your hands are in my way, okay? Even though you think I can't hear you, I can feel the vibrations of your artistic get out of my ways, Miss Linda. All right, let's see if I can get this one. Now again, I'm going really fast and your hand will get tired. You will need to take a pause and let your hands relax a little bit because pushing hard with this pen puts a little strain on your hands. Now I would do every one of these. Let's just do this and see what happens. If it just gives it a texture. Oh, now I have to fix that. All right, and this one. So every other one, circles colored in. Oh, I can't wait to see. These colors are kind of bizarre, so I'm really looking forward to it. And then we'll just give it a, a big fish mouth. All right, there we go. Let's see, drum roll please. Nice, the colors are beautiful. You can actually see where it comes up. What does it remind me of? It reminds me of fossils, this look. Oh yeah, Miss Linda C and stuff and everything. So I'll put this one away for a moment so I can show you after efforts. This took me hours so far and I had to stop. And then I thought, well, I'll just show it. And when I did the blue, I thought, well, how am I gonna get the blue on there? I have to press. So I decided to do waves. And I did these little waves and they picked up quite beautifully. In fact, I. Mine was slipping, so I put tape on the other side as well. Let me flip this. Look at it so far. I love the whale waves. You can do bubbles. You can do whales. Check it out. Flip side. Oh, and this one. I'm going to tell you what I did on that one. I started doing X's with circles, thinking I could make it look like coral, and it looked like cactus. And I was like, yeah, no, that's not in the ocean. So I decided to just do swirly whirlies to make it look like cactus. Let me do this fish for you. And I would love to sit and finish this with you. Someday we're gonna have to do like, fa like a speed painting where, where the camera can go faster so you can see my hand go in like super motion which it kind of does anyway. And remember, change your fish if you want. I want this one to have more of a tip of a mouth. And actually its underbelly is too big. So I'm going to connect these lines. You can change anything you like. These were drawn like this, just one little loop. Then I decided just to go wild after I checked out what was happening on my paper and I could see I knew what I needed to do. So part of the responsibility in this is up to you to check what you're doing, see if you're satisfied with it. If you wanna change something or add something, you can even sneak a little more pastel under there. I did that yesterday too. You couldn't see me, but I was like doing the whole whisper thing with my hand, like I was trying to tell you a secret. They're not secrets, they're just tips so that you can become confident in what you're doing. So what's the process? We draw our fish first, whimsical fish. Then we get all of our pastel on our paper. I kind of made, oh, actually, the, the, I went in and put eyes in. The eyes weren't there to begin with. I went heavy with my pastels. The next step is to use your ballpoint pen. And this is where most of the work comes in. This is what's gonna determine if it's a really well-produced, where people say, wow, they put a lot of time into that. Or something that you're just learning. First time, don't be too rough on yourself. Don't try it. Um, something really, really, really over the top. But what you wanna do is frame this when you're done because it's incredible. It is a beautiful print, a reverse pastel print. Have fun with it. Seems like a lot of work, but I know that you can handle it. I know you'll take your time, walk away from it if you need to, get back to it, give your hands a rest, because these are really important with art. These, these, and these, I'll always say it. So use your time, 
Make it colorful, share it with your family, and enjoy it because you earned it.